Hi guys, welcome to my tutorials corner. This is Abhi and you are watching part 7 of the Olympia tutorials video series. In this video, I am going to talk about the button control in WPF. Uh, button control is a very important part of any user interface application. We can uh, take input from user to accomplish some kind of task. We can do different things when user clicks on a button. Actually, it provides a visual indication of our application's functionality to the user. Like when we click on a button or mouse over on a button, something happens. So let's look at the button control with an example. I have a grid control and inside that I am going to create a button. Now here is the button and to set the text on it, we can use the content property and let's say hello. And you can see the button here with the text on it hello now we can use the different properties of the button control like and alignment properties is enabled tool tip so let's look at this one by one I'm going to use the alignment properties so let's say horizontal alignment to left now you can see the button is set to the left similarly if I will do the vertical alignment to the center then this button is going to centered if I will change this property to center then you can see the button is at the center point now we can use the padding So what padding does, it actually leaves the space inside the button. If I will set the padding 10, then this is going to leave 10 px from all the sides like top, left, right and bottom. If I will use this, then this is going to leave 10 px from the left and 10 px from the right and 2 px from the top and 2 px from the bottom. So if you will use this kind of values then the first value determines the left and right and the second determines the top and bottom. We can actually do this in three differ different ways we can either set it with one so that is going to set all the sides to 10 another way is that we can use two and this is going to set the left and right and top and bottom and we can use a third one like 10 px from the left 6 px from the top, 6 px from the let's say 10 px from the right, and 5 px from the bottom. So, these are the three different ways through which we can set the padding of a button control. Similarly, we can use the margin, and uh, but the main difference between margin and padding is that padding is going to leave a space inside the button but if you will use the margin then that is going to leave the space space outside the button so that's the margin the next thing is that is enabled we use the is enabled property to disable a button this makes it unusable so we use the is enabled property in some kind of situations like like you have created a registration form and user held and user has filled everything and after that he clicks on the submit button you want to restrict the user that he cannot uh, click again once he, ha he has clicked on the button in that case you can use the is enabled property so let's say 
let's see how we can use first of all I will create a click event now you can see the click event is here and I will show a message box dot so hello now I'm going to run this application as you can see the button is working fine but if I want to disable this button I will let's say, create its name PTA and btn dot is it's equals to false now run this application hello and the button is disabled now and I am clicking on it and nothing happening so that's the it's enabled property of a button the third one is tooltip we can use tooltip to uh, show the message to the user that what exactly this button does. So let's see how we can set the tooltip. We can either use the CS code or we can set uh, into the XML tooltip hello button. Now let's just run the code and hover over the button you can see the hello button another way to assign the properties of button is that let's leave this and create the button and let's leave that and create the button and you can see it the button like this button dot content to hello so you may be wondering that what is this and what is the difference with between these two basically there is no difference between these two the first is something like you are creating an object of button and same time you are assigning the values of its properties and the second one is that you have created an object and after that you are assigning the property values so both are the same nothing is special you can either use any way to create the button so that's it from the today's video tutorial please subscribe comment let me know your suggestions thanks for watching have a great day